so we are at the condo starting Bangkok day two. I'm going to take a little walkabout, go to the Golden Mountain Temple. I uh, got another fitting with, the, uh, with, with my tailors later on today. And uh, we're just going to walk around and eat some street food and just kind of see what we see. Alright, so we are hanging out at the Nanachar Pier, uh, waiting for the uh, water ferry to come. And it uh, looks like it's right behind me actually. Um, so we're going to take this down to the Gold Mountain Temple. Hey guys, so we are here at Wat Saket, which is the Golden Mountain Temple. Um, definitely worth uh, coming up here, this is awesome. Um, not that many steps to get up here, but you get a really great uh, perspective of, of Bangkok. Um, you get to have a really awesome view. Um, it's pretty hot, but at the same time they have water everywhere, uh, there's misters, uh, really, really beautiful place. Uh, so uh, check it out, here, here's some more scenes of it. After climbing the Golden Mountain and exploring the temple complex at its base, we toured the surrounding area for a bit before jumping on the canal boat again to head out back to our Airbnb condo before going out for the night. So we are back at the condo now. We, what we've been doing is we've been walking around um, and then we kind of, in the heat of the day, then like to come back to the back to the condo and hang out and go to the pool. Uh, it's pretty nice out here. It's uh, you know nice and cool. Uh, it's in the shade. We've got a big old infinity pool. Jen likes it. She's a big fan. Um, <laughs> so yeah, check out more scenes. We're gonna chill here for a while, have some drinks, and then uh, have another tailoring appointment uh, for, uh, I, I don't know, I don't, it's either gonna be the shirts or the suits, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what it is. That's at five o'clock, and then I guess we'll go out, we're thinking about going to Chinatown or a night market, who knows, we just kinda play it by ear and roll around and eat and drink our way uh, around Bangkok, that's, that's the plan. Um, so, yeah, see, let's see what happens.
With my new shirts and three pea suits tailored, we got out of our appointment just as the sun was setting on Bangkok and headed over to Chinatown, also known as Yarrawat. After a long day of exploring the city, we are hungry for some of the amazing, unique street food that can only be found in the Chinatown area. In the early evening, nearly a mile of Yarrawat Road transforms from conventional storefronts to having sidewalks lined with food carts, vendors, and street-side restaurants. This vibrant night market attracts locals and tourists alike who spill out into the road from both sides. With seemingly infinite choices in front of us, we found an open table next to a food cart that served fresh bowls of noodles. The cart on the sidewalk cooked noodles and dumplings and a station against a closed storefront carefully prepared pork and shrimp. The bowls are delivered with a robust yet neutral flavoring and a tabletop rack of condiments allows you to add spice and flavor to your preference. As with many Thai condiment assortments, the options here consisted of red chili pepper flakes, pickled jalapeno in vinegar, fish sauce, and granulated sugar. As you can see, I like mine nice and spicy. At only 60 baht per bowl, the cost of this amazing meal was only about $4 total. We were on the hunt for one of Thailand's most famous desserts. Mango sticky rice. Oh, there it is, right? Oh, yeah. It's pretty simple mango, sticky rice, and sweetened coconut milk. But the result is simply delicious. Mango. Yeah. So that about does it for Bangkok Day 2. Check out the next episode where we plan on visiting more of the city's iconic temples along with eating scorpions and partying it up on the famous Kosan Road. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more great travel content just like this. See you in the next video.